Well, Young Justice fans, now what? We are after SDCC 2023 and we still don't have any news. So let's sit down for a second and talk logically about what we do next. Well, I know I am not alone and there are a ton of Young Justice fans on this channel. We are all still super hopeful that the show is going to return and recently we got SDCC which brought up our hopes only to have them dashed once again. Now at this point many of us are wondering what do we do now? And although all hope is not lost, we are in quite the dark realm at this moment. Now. If you watch carefully, Greg Wiseman is still kind of promoting the show. He's still doing his Ask Greg and counting off more characters that are part of the Earth-16 universe. So clearly, it's still on Greg's mind. We also recently talked about that Young Justice Targets book. And again, guys, this is the number one way to support the possibilities of another season. Buying this particular book means DC and Warner Brothers to see where the cash could potentially come from. And honestly, after talking to a couple of resources inside various levels of Warner Brothers and DC Comics, it seems like that is going to be key. We've mentioned many times here, and this is the main problem as of today. It's not about the fan demand. Warner Brothers and DC know we want another season of Young Justice, and they also know that the show will do pretty well because it did very well on HBO Max. Well, now it's called Max. The problem ultimately exists in monetizing the new season. Remember, we lost the first two seasons after the toys didn't sell and the toys drove the production cost and therefore that's why we got the show. We got the third season because DC Universe set up and that was a subscription service generating revenue and wanted to bring us fans on board. That's basically what happened with HBO Max also, kind of a direct tide from money to the new show. And this is what we need for a season 5. Now, I can hear many of you already asking, well, Harley Quinn just got a new season, and that is true. But as a Young Justice fan, you know we've had very particular and specific issues with getting the show renewed. It's kind of the burden that we carry, and if you really do want the show to come back, these are things we're going to have to deal with. Executive buy-in plays huge in getting projects developed inside a studio, and it's clear to me Harley Quinn in particular has a great executive buy-in function, and that's why the show keeps on getting renewed and getting its little bits of special presentations. Clearly, Young Justice does not have the same. Now, sadly, we don't have any conventions coming up anytime soon. I do know Greg Wiseman is going to make a, an appearance at Convergence, which is a place he has talked about Young Justice before, and it's often the site of those really great crossovers that they've done bet between Gargoyles and Spectacular Spider-Man and Young Justice. So if you've never seen any of that, it is pretty cool. We did a video on that a couple of months ago. I've linked it down below, and it's definitely worth a look. Now, as these events chime off in the next couple of months, I think as fans, we need to keep the hype alive. It's important for WB and Warner Brothers to understand we haven't given up. Remember, the show was basically dead before, and with the help of Greg Wiseman and the Keep Binging Young Justice hashtag, well, Netflix saw the show explode, and that really is what inspired the DC Universe to pick it up for that third season. Although I don't think the show is coming back to Max, I do think there's a strong possibility it could be picked up by another streaming service, maybe Netflix again or even Amazon Prime, but they need to see the financial reward and the possibilities. This could be done through comics and also continuing to binge the show. I don't think we should give up hope yet. When we've had the opportunities to speak with cast members, they've made it pretty clear. They haven't given up hope either. They just feel like there's a lot of hoops that we're going to have to jump through in the next couple of months or maybe even year. And us fans remaining vigilant is what's key to keep the energy level high so we can't be ignored. A lot of DC Studios' focus is going on the new DCU and we're going to have to stand out in a very crowded forum and make a lot of appropriate noise. We'll keep posting all those hashtags. Renew Young Justice, Young Justice Season 5, and Save Earth 16, and also, once again, buy the material that Young Justice Targets comic just dropped, and I know a lot of you guys picked that up. That's pretty awesome, but there's also back issues of the previous series. You can get both of those over on Amazon, and if you haven't read them before, they're a great read if you're a fan, and that is the direct way, and that's the best chance we can give the show to return for a fifth and maybe even more seasons should it get renewed. Make sure you keep the pressure on. Keep it positive and appropriate. Don't be a jerk fan. That's not going to help us. And maybe in the next couple of months, we'll finally get an update on Young Justice Season 5. 